Okay, we are going to start out. Um, I'm using Linux Mint 17.1 this the host oper or as the operating system. We're going to use Windows 10 as our host operating system here in VMware. Shows create a new virtual machine. We're going to go with typical. Let's see. And we are going to choose to use an ISO image. And I've got a few saved here. Right here is what we want. Windows 10, 64. To this is system we'll use easy install. That sounds like something we would be interested in, and this for the sake of time. Huh. Did not expect that. But that's okay. Why not go with Pro? And I just happen to have the product key here as well. Well, simply go to where that's kept. There's our product key. Thank you to WKU for the chance to use this. Yeah, we'll just throw that in there. Ah, uh, we can't just throw that in there. Let's pause. Okay, so we got that entered. Alright, I'm fine with that name. I'm sure you can name it anything you'd like. Alright, I don't want it using 60 gig of my space. Single file. Kind of limited on space. I'm going to go with 25. I'm not going to do much with Windows 10. And let's see what we've got here. Hard disk by Monolithic. I'll go ahead and let it run with that. We'll go ahead and power it up after its creation. For now, we're going to let her create the disk. We'll pause while that's going. Take this moment to say I generally use VirtualBox, which, I, of course, I've got. Hold on just a second here. Okay. That's great. This is something I haven't seen on VirtualBox, actually. I have trouble using my uh, USB devices on there so this is cool I like to see that I've not really had a chance to play around with Windows 10 so this is interesting Ah, setup is starting, okay. And of course we're going through the motions just like in uh, this is very similar to VirtualBox for me. Uh, that's made by Oracle for anyone that's dealt with Oracle software in the past. If you're taking a database class like I am right now, of course you're dealing with it. This could be lengthy, I believe I will let it do its thing there's no reason to sit and watch this so we'll pause for now and come back when the good stuff starts this does give me an opportunity to bring up a couple of other things uh... like i said i've used virtualbox a lot uh... in the past and under administration and this version of linux i use there's of course the virtualbox vmware here 
just to uh, show you this, and I think the computer can probably handle this. Uh, we'll go ahead and start a virtual box. I have a dual monitor set up, so I'll just show you right here. I'm not going to start this because then I'm splitting processor time between three operating systems, which seems a little bit crazy to me. But it's a similar, you have a lot more control, I think, over the hardware with this, just out the gate. But I'm sure you can choose a custom install on VMware and have similar control over hardware in your virtual machine. So that is, just in case anyone gets interested in that, looks like our files are just about ready for installation. Again, we'll, I will pause and we'll come back to that. Uh, we'll come back to you when something very interesting is going on, or at least mildly so. Didn't take long to get interesting, so I'm thinking pretty soon it's going to reboot and we're going to be enjoying Windows 10 in all its glory. I've been kind of looking forward to checking out Windows 10. Let's restart now. Very nice. Hmm. Ah, there's my cursor. I was missing that for a minute there. All right. Down to the nitty gritty here. It seems pretty easy, easier than my experience with VirtualBox, honestly to set up uh, an OS and VMware. I think it's streamlined for Windows operating systems, or at least it appears to be. To some degree, Oracle's virtual boxes too. <laughs> We're getting ready. very much getting ready still. Gotta remember, uh, I have 6 gig of RAM. I mean, that's not a lot, but it appears that it's only given Windows 10 1 gig of that. Might be something I'll choose to change, honestly. The Windows 7 installation I have on VirtualBox. Um... Uh, is a 32-bit installation. I still gave it two gigabytes. I use that a lot for the uh, databases and the CIT 350. Looks like we're getting there. Okay, it restarted again. Let's see what we get this time. After 20 some years dealing with computers, I've become pretty accustomed to a Windows restart for about any reason.
I believe it to be installing updates, perhaps. We're back. Ah, and it's restarting again. I did not expect that. I thought two was the limit there. Ah, okay. So I get ready to pause, they got it together. Hello. Alright, that's that's good to know. They are indeed setting up our operating system for us. We're sure that it won't take too long. I would like a Go ahead and make this full screen. That looks nice. All right. Just out of curiosity, I wonder if uh, anyone else remembers when apps were applications or programs rather than apps. I don't know. I believe I will take the time to tweak the hardware part of this and give it just a little bit more RAM to play with. I think a modern OS should have at least two gig to play around with. Okay, while they take care of things. Alright, here we are. It had to restart one more time. Windows 10 here. I'll give it the old password. is very pretty. I'm a sucker for eye candy. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, sure. For now, I'll let that go. Ah, I see. Start menu is... Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, Solitaire is still with us in Windows 10. Kudos, gentlemen, kudos on that. Yeah, I haven't used Internet Explorer in quite a while. That could be interesting as well. This looks very nice. Uh, pretty good sized television for my main monitor, and then a smaller flat screen monitor for the secondary and I'm liking this quite a bit uh, so there you have it that is a Windows 10 install in VMware uh, pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, I'd say that a lot of Microsoft operating systems are set up like that pretty easy install and probably a lot of Linux distributions Hint, hint, folks. Good stuff, Linux. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down. I hope everyone has a great day.